Okay, so these are the ingredients for chimichurri. I got salt, black pepper, dry oregano. I got two tablespoons there. Some water, one water, um, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and I got chili garlic sauce, and I had some parsley, and also fresh garlic. So let's get started. So here I'm adding two tablespoons as well or the chili sauce and here i'm adding some warm water to dehydrate the oregano okay and i'm doing this the night before i'm gonna cook so this sauce will have plenty of time to marinate i went ahead and put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds so it could um dehydrate the uh the oregano so now I'm adding about one tablespoon of black pepper. I'm telling you guys, this sauce is really good. You could use it with anything, with anything. <laughs> so here, here I go with my mother. I'm using it to mash my garlic, as you could see. And I'm adding it to the sauce. I mash about four cloves. And it's all preference, guys, how much you want of each ingredients, okay? Play around, play around, make it yours. So here I'm chopping up my parsley, very fine, very fine. So here, when I was spooning, I, it was like six tablespoons. And now I added about a cup of the oil and a half a cup of the red wine vinegar. And I'm whisking it. And I'm gonna put this in a bowl and put it in the fridge overnight. So to marinate our steak, I got olive oil, I have mojo sauce, mojo marinade, some salt and some black pepper, very limit on the seasoning, very lightly. Here I'm like putting a little bit of black pepper and salt, very light. All the seasoning on this steak is gonna be very light because guess what guys, we have that chimney churri sauce that we're gonna put on this steak later on so just a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of the mojo and that should be sufficient to marinate this steak so the chimichurri sauce and the steak i marinated um both the night before and i put it in the fridge but this is enough to marinate that steak you don't need too much seasoning on it Cause that chimichurri, I'm telling you, it has a lot of flavor. I mean, it's, it was just delicious. <laughs> I'm letting you know right now, it was just delicious. Okay, so now to prepare my seafood, I have some shrimp, uh, lobster's tail, I got on salted butter, fresh garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, black pepper, and salt. So here I'm cutting about one tablespoon of butter. I'm putting it in the pan, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of black pepper and some salt. Very light guys, you don't need that much of this seasoning. And here I crush about two more cloves of the garlic a fresh garlic and I'm letting that melt on the stove on medium low meanwhile I'm over here cutting right in the center of the lobster tail not all the way down just enough to open it so I could remove like the skin not completely I'm still gonna leave it on the shell but I'm gonna as you can see I'm trying to go under to remove it 
be patient guy be patient okay <laughs> Uh, like I always say, uh, cook from the heart. So cooking is uh, the labor of love. That's what it is. But here, as you can see, I remove it. I'm still living it on the tail. So that's the meat that we're going to have. For some reason, this tail came out kind of small. I usually buy it way bigger than that. But it is what it is. So here, here how my butter is looking. Melted with the garlic. And I let it cool off for a little bit before I add it to the seafood. And here, as you can see, I have my shrimps are pretty large. They devein. I'm leaving the shell on everything because I'm gonna grill these. All right, if you was frying them, I would say remove the shell from the shrimp. But right now I'm grilling these and what I'm doing, I'm peeling a little bit of the shell and making sure that marinade goes in each shrimp right there. And then I cover it back up with the shell and I'm doing that with all of them. Okay, so I'm going to do this with all of them. So guys, if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button for me, please. And hit that notification button that's going to let you know every time I upload a new video. Okay, and here, these are um, the ingredients for the mofongo. So here I have what they call um, salted um, pork fat i have unsalted butter i have adobo and i have got um plantains and i have fresh garlic all right now this is how i cut this this is what my grandmother used to do to make my fungal when we was growing up this is optional this is optional this is optional or you could use something else all right, so here what I did, I made, as you can see, um, very thin slit. Now, I didn't cut through the skin yet, and I'm doing the same thing to the opposite side. And it should look like this. And now I'm gonna cut strips so I could start cooking it on medium low, okay? On medium low. And here, I, I have it on medium low, cooking it and you continue to drain that fat off the pan and keep cooking it. And when it's like this, I start cutting it in little pieces. This is almost done. And I refry it again and again. And when it looks just like this, that is done. So you put this in a paper towel, put it on the side until it's ready for your mofongo, okay? So here I put in my shrimps in the skewer and I don't crop them. As you can see, I leave them pretty, pretty open and they're pretty big shrimps, right? And again, I'm making sure that that marinade, look, 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 all that is just goodness right there. I'm telling you all this whole meal came out so good, so good, so good. <laughs> you would not regret making this. I'm telling you. You really gonna have a blast eating this mofongo, this uh, surf and turf mofongo. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm doing that and it's also good to put it on the screw when you're gonna grill it cause it's gonna be very easy to turn them when it's time to turn them instead of doing one at a time. Here I'm doing the same thing with the lobster. I'm making sure I don't let none of that seasoning go to waste, all right? If you notice, I did not squeeze the lemon on there yet because I'm squeezing the lemon and letting it melt again so later on I could glaze it with the lemon. And the reason why I did that is because lemon or even lime, if you put it on seafood and let it marinate for a while, it's going to start cooking your seafood. All right? So I want the taste of lemon, but I'm adding it later on. So as you can see, I put the steak on there and I'm telling you it's only a couple of minutes. You don't need to cook this for too long. Look at look at look look at those colors, guys. Look at those colors. When I said this stuff was good, whew, I sure enjoy. I sat in that backyard and I enjoyed this mofongo. Oh man! So see a couple minutes. Look at those juices still coming off that steak. 
this is done okay just a couple minutes and i'm gonna leave the strand by another minute or so before i remove it and usually um on the lobster i usually sprinkle um some paprika on the top when it's almost done but i'm also i'm gonna be using this other um seafood seasoning they also has like the coloring in it but here like i said this base thing that i'm putting on it now that's the one that has the lemon squeeze and here i am adding the seasoning all right so i'm about to remove my shrimps i'm about to remove my shrimps <laughs> I'm telling you, I really, 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 really enjoy it. So here I am doing the, see, look at that. Look at the beauty on that. So here I am melting a little bit of butter with olive oil and a little bit of garlic because I'm making the little seafood white sauce to pour over the mofongo. Here I added about a tablespoon of flour so I could make a little root and usually I use either clam juice or chicken broth I mean um sorry seafood broth but I only had the chicken broth I thought I had the clam juice but I like using the clam juice but and I'm um, here I'm adding some wine white wine I like using Chardonnay for the most part but you could use any of your preference and here I'm adding some warm water to it to make the broth because since I use a packaged bouillon, but if you have the broth already, like the clam juice or whatever, instead of the water, this is what you're gonna be adding right now. And, of, and to deglaze the, the pan, you're gonna be adding the wine first, okay? So after it has simmered for a couple minutes, now I'm adding a little bit of heavy cream and you add a little bit at a time until, until you get to the thickness that you want. It all depends on the amount you're making, guys, okay? There's no right and wrong here. Just watch it, stir it, as you can see. So all in total, I, made it, I may have add like two ounces or less of the heavy cream. Here I had chopped up a little, um, about two of the shrimps and I added it to the sauce. And I'm gonna let this simmer by another minute and pretty much this is so done. So now the king of the king, which is the mofongo, as you can see, I cut up my plantains. If you don't know how to, uh, how to cook plantains or peel plantains, I have videos below for yellow plantains and the green plantains where I show you in those videos how to do that. So um, here I was showing you in the mortar where I have mashed garlic and now I'm about to add my fried plantains. Usually I add about one clove of uh, garlic or clove and a half depending on the size per plantain. But if you like your mofongo even with more um, garlic, you could add as much as you like guys, all right? It's all preference, it's all preference, no right and wrong here. Here I'm mashing it. So to start mashing it, I start squaring as you can see, all right? And if you don't have a mortar guy and you're gonna be cooking with me, you need to get yourself one. You could either get it at the store or you could click on the affiliate links that I have under this recipe, all right? Um, I will be posting affiliate links where you could find some of the seasonings and also um, tools, the kitchen's tool and stuff that I have. So here I'm adding the what we call the tocino, okay, which is the, the pork fat. Again, that is optional, 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 optional. Guys, if you don't eat pork, if you don't want none of that, you do not have to add it. You will be just fine. Here I am adding now my sauce and before you you stick the the lobster and the shrimp on it you know you could put the sauce on it first um it's all preference i was just trying to figure it out uh when to put it on there but this is it guys this is your surf and turf mofongo 
Look at that, look at that, look at that. And look at that steak. Look, look, look at that chimichurri sauce. Guys, that sh oh, look. All oh, those sauces were so good. <laughs> really, really good. All right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. And thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next recipe. Have a great day.